Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my take on baked sweet and spicy salmon served along with some citrus salsa. So let's get to it. First of all, you'll need a fresh cut of salmon fillet. So you can use the already cut up frozen kind, but I would prefer the fresh one. But you can use whatever you have in your hand. I have here a center cut fillet. This recipe calls for about 3 to 5 pieces of salmon fillet. I'm just going to use 3 today because this is for our dinner. So I'm going to cut up the salmon fillet and I'll show you what you'll need for your first marinade. If you have more fillets than what I'm using, just dub double up my ingredient amounts. So you'll need the juice of half an orange and do use the fresh sweet kind of orange. You'll also need some orange zest and I'm only using about a pinch of orange zest. You will also need some olive oil and here I have about 4 to 6 tablespoons of olive oil. You're also going to need about 4, I'm sorry, <laughs> 1 tablespoon of brown sugar. Now if you don't have brown sugar, you can use the regular kind. Um, so yeah, let's just mix this up and get started. So here I have the cut up salmon and now I placed it in the marination bowl and I'm going to add in all our first marinade ingredients one by one. So first of all we're going to add in our half uh, an orange, you know, this, the juice of half an orange with its zest. And next I'm going to add in our olive oil, yay! <laughs> and after that I'm going to add in our one tablespoon of brown sugar. And now guys, we're going to mix this up, cover it all well, and I'll show you how it looks like. So now I marinated our salmon, and I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And not more than that, because the orange juice will cook up our salmon, so we don't want that. So next up, we're going to mix our ingredients for the citrus salsa. So here I have the half of the other orange and I have peeled and diced it well and we're going to also need about a tablespoon of green capsicum or bell pepper you can use whatever color you get it doesn't really matter and next we're going to use some freshly chopped up cilantro or coriander leaves and we're going to take all these ingredients mix it up together in a different bowl and I will show you when I get there so now guys, in a different bowl, we're going to add in all our diced ingredients. First up, the orange. Next, we're going to add in our 1 tablespoon of green bell pepper. And after that, we're going to add in our freshly chopped up cilantro or coriander leaf. And we're going to mix this well and we're going to refrigerate this until we have you know, finally cooked up our salmon. So here guys, we have ingredients for our second marinade for the fish. We have one tablespoon of chopped up ginger and garlic, salt to taste, another tablespoon of brown sugar, and we also have some thyme leaves. And you, if you have the fresh kind, you can use that. I didn't have it, so I bought this dry thyme from the local supermarket. And I've used about one teaspoon of dry thyme and next we're going to need about a tablespoon of red chili powder. You can use how much you want depending upon your spice level. And we're going to mix all these ingredients in a separate bowl. So first I have, I'm going to add in our chopped up ginger and garlic. There we go. And next I'm going to add in our one tablespoon of brown sugar. And when I say brown sugar, I actually mean sugar, sugar, <laughs> nothing else guys. <laughs> And next, I'm adding our one tablespoon of, um, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of thyme. And next, I'm adding in our one tablespoon of red chili powder. After which, I'm going to add in um, some salt to taste. And I think I added just a lot more salt. <laughs> Don't add too much because, you know, you can't take it back. And we're going to mix this well. After mixing, this is how it should look like. Now I'm going to take out the salmon we put in the fridge after 20 minutes and I'm going to take some of its marinade 
and I'm going to mix it with our, you know, the second marinade we have here. And we're going to keep on adding the marinade until we get a pasty consistency. And I'll show you how it looks like. So guys, this is how it should look like. And we're going to apply this on either sides of our salmon in a baking tray lined with some aluminum foil. And we're going to place um, all our salmon one by one. And don't throw away the marinade that is still left in our marination bowl. We're going to sprinkle some over the top of our salmon once we are about to bake. And preheat your oven to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit at this time. So now guys, we're going to apply our second marinade on top of our salmon fillet. And cover it nicely well. And after we're done coating our first top side, I'll show you how it will look like. And now we're finished coating our top side. We're going to place it down and we're going to apply the same um, on the other side. And yeah, I'll show you once we're done. So now we have marinated all sides of our salmon filet. Do not forget to um, apply some marinade to the sides and you know everywhere. <laughs> I also um, poured in the rest of our first marinade which we applied on the fish and I don't want to throw it away so I put it on the top and now we're going to place this in our oven which was preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. After 9 minutes we're going to take this out and flip it to the other side and cook it. Now I have taken out our pan after about 9 minutes and I'm going to flip it to the other side and we're going to cook um, the other side and we're going to put this back into our oven for another three to four minutes and now guys um, the timing the cooking time depends all up, all on your thickness of your salmon so if it's you know it couldn't be thicker but you know if it's smaller just um, take it out after like seven or eight minutes and yeah we're going to place this back into our oven and we're going to cook this for another three to four minutes. And after we're done, we're going to plate it. Yay! Now guys, our baked salmon is ready to serve. I'm going to plate this up and we can now get out our citrus salsa which we prepared and which we refrigerated so we can serve it on the top. <laughs> now I'm going to place our juicy sweet um, citrus salsa all over the top of our salmon. Doesn't that look pretty guys? Look at that. All those vibrant colors. Ah, I just can't wait to taste it. <laughs> you can make this more colorful if you can get the red um, bell peppers. But I didn't have it so... Yay! We can serve this up with some french fries or I have baked some fries. Um, we'll post the recipe for the baked fries later on, so stay tuned guys. So I'm going to give this salmon a good taste. <laughs> Can't wait. Now it's tasting time guys. Did you see how that um, juice just popped out when I squished it? <laughs> it's nice and perfectly cooked right now and I didn't cook it you know, I didn't overcook it. I always like it when when you're biting into the salmon and it just literally melts in your mouth. I just love it when I get that kind of texture. So, you know, just follow the steps and you'll get the same result that I got. I'm going to give this a taste. Mm, yeah, that is really good. <laughs> The orange and the salmon works really well and I hope you guys give this a shot and tell me how it all went for you. So happy cooking guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>